Hi everybody, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my vlog. Coffee, tea, wine, and life because that seems to suit up me. Suit up me? That doesn't sound right. That seems to sum up my life, doesn't it? So anyway, I am so happy to have you join me for another week. Of course, last week I only had two entries, so let's see if I can stay on top of things a little better this week. Hoping I am actually feeling a lot better. I think I just got a lot of sleep, and uh, I think that really, really helped quite a bit, plus just getting things out of my system. But um, anyway, I am, uh, yeah, I wearing new pajamas for my vlog and of course you knew eventually I was going to have an animal print pajamas and again these are from my my new favorite brand from QVC these are mucklucks they are a soft soft velour so so nice so I've got this beige top I've got these animal print pants so just to pull on with a drawstring the pants have pockets which you can't see but um got some pockets right here so just oh just so comfortable just to kind of hang around and lounge so I love starting my vlog with new pajamas doesn't always work out that way but I love doing it so anyway I did my vlog my uh, out of sequence because I got smart sips coffee and so I wanted to have one to start off my vlog with so I opened my smart sips oh my gosh so good and I got that one is the uh the cappuccino latte mix so so good and I am having the orange swirl vanilla orange swirl cappuccino so so good oh my gosh I had a couple of sips in the kitchen after I pushed my button oh my god it's so good you wouldn't think so but it is it's really good it's amazing how they put these flavors together oh my gosh so if you loved orange creamsicles as a kid or even as an adult you are going to love this. This is so, so good. Mm. But as I said, I went to bed about 10.30 this morning. And, um, yeah, I just wasn't feeling too great to be watching videos and paying attention and commenting and things. It was just really kind of making me nauseous. So my new addiction is this uh, Lauren Crime Network. And so I watched two of the series start to finish. And um, it is... It's heartbreaking to know that there are truly, truly evil people out there in this world and what they do. And uh, so the first one I watched was a, it was a shorter one. And um, it was a, a mother and father that were both kind of high on, I, I don't remember the, whether it was heroin or, or something that they were on. But anyway, she had a baby and at the hospital, um, the nurses, the doctors recognized what was wrong with these people and they actually took the baby baby away from them at the hospital right after birth but within two weeks they gave the baby back um, and of course these people murdered the baby and to know that oh what that baby had to go through and suffer with the broken bones um, broken ribs um, arms the legs pulled out of the sockets and just oh my god it was heart heartbreaking you know and um, to watch the trial and to have the mother screaming at the prosecutor that she is the one that ruined the family and she should have just let this lie and you're destroying my family and it's like hello lady you killed a baby how is the prosecutor ruining your life you know type thing so that was the first one I watched the second one, second one was even worse oh my gosh that was horrible so this guy had actually plotted for weeks to murder his parents and he was 32 he had never really worked a day in his life they supported him through everything all he was he was like a perpetual student he just kept going back for one degree after another which they kept paying for they paid for his apartment they paid for his car I mean they paid for everything for him so they were getting ready to retire and they said sorry we can't do this anymore you are going to have to be on your own we can't support you so for weeks he went through different places to and he, he even made a list of what he needed and how he was going to dispose of the bodies and things like that, which he actually left at the crime scene. Because I think he intended to go back, but it got muffled. And so he went um, to all different hardware stores all over the area, buying bits and pieces of what he needed. And his plan was to, um, he wasn't going to be there for Thanksgiving, but this year he decided to be there for Thanksgiving. Um, and so it kind of surprised everyone that he showed up. And then, of course, after the rest of the family left and he was left alone there with his parents is when he decided to uh, do his deed and um, liquefy them, cut them up and liquefy them. 
yeah so anyway then he had to get back because he needed an alibi and uh, so um, he was going to go back but he never made it back to clean up the site and whatever and he bought all kinds of things to um, be able to flush things down the toilet and blenders to blend up um, things that didn't quite liquefy and I mean he had it all written down what his plans were but he had, uh, plans went array when um, the lady didn't show up for her retirement party um, the Monday after Thanksgiving and she had a welfare check and the police um, went and found him so during the trial I mean this guy was like he just showed no emotion I mean he just kind of just stood out he, you know he no emotion at all except when the prosecutor was showing the jury the pictures of the crime scene and things like that which we couldn't see it because it was kind of you know the blotted out because otherwise it would be a little too much for us everyday people but and that's when he kind of came to life and at the end of um, the trial the trial did uh, the jurors did find him guilty um, and the uh, his defendant um, the uh, his defense lawyer who was saying you know this is his first time offense he's never had any problems I think you should go lenient on him and the judge says he plotted to kill his parents he made plans did you see the pictures did you see what he did I could give him a 500 year sentence and it's not going to to matter he is evil he is pure evil and um, um, I think the prosecutor wanted to go for the death penalty because it uh, the state it was was a death penalty but um, his siblings didn't want to see that they would rather him be in jail with no chance of parole than to um, to have him um, murdered you know with the uh, death penalty so that was the second one I watched and the judge on that was like I mean if I ever had to go be in a jury or if I had to go before a judge he was just like everybody's father he was like so kind and so polite and so thoughtful of everybody the uh, family that was there the jurors and he was just just an honorable honorable judge and the third one that I started where I finally just it was 10 30 it's like I, I can't keep my eyes open is a husband and wife that uh, killed his ex-girlfriend and it was like she was a lesbian it was like she was no threat to this new wife that wanted I don't know I just I don't understand how people can just be so cold and calculating and they even took their kids to watch them beat and kill this lady with a bat and her kids were in the car the kids were in the car it's like I just I just don't get it I mean ah uh, but anyway this is what I'm this is what I'm doing in my spare time is uh, watching these and just being perplexed on how evil people can be but anyway I'm hoping for a better week this week I mean I did a, a couple of videos last night uh, too before I started watching this so I got my Vino subscription and yes yeah, so I'm loving that and then this morning when I was getting ready to film this then my smart sips came so I wanted to do that and uh, course I say this morning but I didn't get up to like five o'clock <laughs> so so yeah so it's really not morning but anymore but I'm considering it morning and this is why Mondays are so hard for me because yeah the weekends just really throws me off but I get to have Mr. Griffin tomorrow so I'm excited about that I'll have to go make sure I go to bed so I can be up when he comes over tomorrow so I'm excited to have him and I got a confetti box in so I've got two confetti boxes to open I am probably going to cancel that one only because if I'm not opening it it's probably because it's it's just not exciting to me I mean even if I so I'm probably going to end up canceling that one because I'd rather get wine and coffee and uh, yeah so anyway um, I'm hoping for a better week to be a little bit more productive I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic week and we will chat again soon everybody bye bye oh hi I forgot I was recording yeah you know how I wanted to get into some stress relief and I thought you know I was gonna start reading some books and kind of just do kind of gradual things I thought how gradual is it to read the back of the bottle of a wine bottle yeah such a simple simple idea stress relief drinking the wine you're nice and relaxed you got a paragraph or two to read I was right in the world again right alrighty so anyway welcome welcome to Sunday <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome to Friday. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a fun video. Oh my gosh. So anyway, yeah, I, and I, plus I had some um, pain relievers to my back too. So yeah, I'm doing good. <sighs> okay, let's start over, shall we? Although that part was funny. I might, I might have to have that in there. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start again. I'm talking to myself and going crazy. Oh, hi. I forgot I was recording. I was, I just sat down and I, yeah, I forgot. So anyway, you know how I wanted to get into a little bit of reading, but I want, I needed to get into a gradual to get over my kind of fear of reading again. I thought, what's better than having a glass of wine and reading the back of the wine bottle? I mean, how gradual can you get, right? And of course, it's the writing is so stinking small. You need a magnifying glass. But anyway, I am having, uh, and all seriousness aside, I'm having this new crushed wine that I got from my, oh, a vine box or vino box. And this is a new crush. And it's a Riesling. And it's a Santa Inez Valley. And you know, I'm usually drawn to the uh, sweeter wines because, yeah, I like sweet wines. But every now and then, I wish I was having some, some kind of dinner right now, but I'm not because I like dry wines with, with dinner unless I'm having appetizers for dinner because sometimes I do that. And anyway, I've got my glass of wine here. So I've got my Celebrate glass that came with the vinyl too. It's got some lipstick on it because I've had a couple of sips already. And anyway, so I just thought I would come on and do my Friday vlog with you. And I hope everybody had a great week. Uh, let me have a sip and then put this down. And in case you're wondering about all this kind of thing going on here, I thought I would kind of practice my looks for Valentine's Day because next week I'll probably want to try to wear real red a few days. And of course, I've got my ones with the uh, the little hearts and things, but I just kind of want to look uh, different, a little festive. So I thought I would try this out. And this is from Amazon. I came with a headband too, so I might try to figure out how to do the headband instead of the clip because maybe it should be on this side. I don't know. But anyway, let's move on, shall we? So not too much going on this week. As you know, I, um, I hurt my back again with my sciatica. And it hasn't flared up in so long. And I just figured it was because I, I wasn't lifting as much anymore. And um, I was working out. I got into shape. I lost, I lost well, well, I lost quite a bit of weight. And um, yeah, and it hasn't really been bothering me. So I have no idea what I did. Sometime between Sunday and Monday night is when it went out. And yeah, so I cannot even stand up straight at this point. And um, I've been working every day. I was going to actually take today off, but I, I just knew I had a lot to do. So I figured I, I would go in. And yeah, so I haven't been drinking coffee. I haven't been drinking my protein drink in the morning. And I haven't been having any water at work because... I just wanted to sit at my desk and not have to walk to the ladies' room because, yeah, it, it's not a pretty sight the way I walk right now. I, I look like a corkscrew. <sighs> but anyway, then we had like five inches of snow this week, which isn't really too bad. But it was kind of like a surprise because when I went to bed, I asked my friend, Alexa, how much snow were we going to get tonight? And she said it was going to be like 1.45 inches. So I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. That's, that's nothing to sneeze about. That's not, not bad at all. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I just didn't know what time it was. So I yelled, Alexa, what time is it? And it was like 4.16 or something. And then she says, enjoy the snow. And I'm like, enjoy what snow? So I had to get up and look out the window. And we probably had about three inches, about four o'clock in the morning. So I said, oh crap. So anyway, I went back to bed thinking, well, maybe it's going to stop. But no, it snowed for a few more hours. And um, I, I was no, in no mood to shovel with my back. But I thought, well, I could brush off the car anyway, or I won't be able to drive. And I might as well shovel a path to the driver's side so I don't fall. And I was expecting some packages, so I said, oh, I got to do the walkway, so, and the step in front of the door, so that my packages won't be sitting in the snow. But luckily, I didn't get too far. I was still brushing the car off my snow. <laughs> car off my snow oh my gosh you would think I was drinking all day but I haven't been trust me I haven't so that's all I really had got most of the snow off my car 
And Mr. Griffin's dad came running over and he said, oh, don't worry about shoveling. Um, you know, I'll do it after you leave. Just drive over it and I'll take care of the rest. So very, very grateful for that because, yeah, if I had done that, I probably would have had to go back in the house and go to bed for a while. So I went to work and it was, it was, it was an okay drive. I mean, um, we had about five inches, but it wasn't packed down. It wasn't icy. We were supposed to get like a wintry mix before, but that we didn't get. Otherwise it would have been icy underneath. So, and the snow here, it's, it's not like it was when I was living back in Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Every now and then here we do get that heavy, heavy wet smell, but, um, uh, this is, uh, out here it's usually kind of dry. Like you have trouble making snowballs cause it's just really dry. So it's easier to shovel and I mean five inches is still a lot to shovel when you got three spaces in your garage I mean um, parking lot driveway whatever and then of course the stuff that the plow leaves at the bottom of the street that's hard to get through because then it's all filled with the salt and the crappy stuff so it's 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 hard but other than that it's really not too bad so we did that um, I did get some boxes uh, built last week, so I was excited to finally get some boxes done. So I got my confetti boxes done, so I had two of those to do. I think I did the boxy lux and my boxy charm, so I was happy I got those done. Um, you haven't seen it yet, but I did a Sudsy, the Sudsy Soap, their very last uh, subscription box, so I got that done. And I still have a few more things to do, but I am trying to get through it slowly. Um, I got that Ellie, my first fitness um, outfit. And I, I really, really like that. And um, I mean, the in person, it was really scary when I opened the box because it did not look like that on the model. It didn't look like that heavy, heavy plastic. It just looked nice on the model. But when you put it on, it really kind of stretches out. So you don't have that really plastic final look. It just has a nice sheen. But you know, the top of the sports bra didn't quite fit right. So they are sending me a different one and they told me I could keep that one to either donate or give it away. So if anybody saw that kind of pinky thing that I had on, if you're a size large and you want it, let me know below and we will figure out how to get that to you. If more than one person wants it, we can always do a quick little raffle or something like that. And so, um, yes, I got that coming. Um, I picked out my February outfit, which will ship towards the end of the month. But then I did go online because there, there was one like a past collection that they had from like last August. It was um, a really nice green one with uh, camo leggings and that one really looked cute. But then when I, I put the pants in there, I put the tank top in and then when I went to do the sports bra, they didn't have my size. So um, I kind of left it in the cart and didn't really think too much about it. I thought, oh, you know, maybe I'll come back. Maybe they'll just let me get that or maybe I'll just get the... Uh, the one that doesn't fit so I can get the outfit and worry about it and then I at least have two pieces that I like but um anyway then they sent an email um that said oh we noticed you have something in your box would 20% off help make up your mind and I'm like yes please 20% off is always good so I did order a different one so I'm excited and I think that one shipped and the uh, replacement sports bra shipped already so I'm happy about that and then I got my first glossy box uploaded, so that was good. But and just in time because I got my February one, so got that. I still have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus to do, but then my Ipsy Glam Bag X shipped. So I went online to kind of print out what was in there because I didn't know if it was going to come with a card or not. And the total of the box, my Glam Bag Plus, is $652, and it cost $55, so I am really excited. I think there's some really, some nice skincare products, a little bit of makeup, so I'm excited to see what comes with that, and it shipped today. So I will have to try to get that Ipsy Glam Bag Plus um, filmed as well. And um, yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, yeah, it's going to be, uh, so we had a little bit of snow this week. And now comes the Arctic Blast, so it's about 9 below right now. And over the weekend and the next few days, we're going to go with the wind chills. It's going to feel like 30 below zero. So not so great, but if you are in this Arctic Blast area, I hope you have antifreeze. And if you don't have antifreeze or you don't drink antifreeze, I hope you have lots of coffee, tea, and creamer that'll get us through too so anyway thanks everyone for joining me i appreciate your stopping in to visit so much you mean the world to me i hope everyone goes out has a fantastic weekend i hope you stay warm stay safe and we will chat again soon bye bye everyone talk to you later bye bye